Hello and welcome to the Laserbeards playthrough of the Laserbeards level in Brutal. Um, we've been privileged enough to have access to the game for the last week or so um, and I can tell you right now it's a cracker. Um, so let me get started. So into single player. Start a new dungeon. You've got um, slots for about four games here so um, you'll notice that we have a choice of uh, characters to play through. Um, they all have their own advantages, but I'm quite partial to the mage, um, which is probably not everybody else's favourite. Um, before I select him, I'm going to go up and press triangle. Up in the top right corner you can see dungeon seed, and right now it's set to random. Now you can all have your own levels, you can type in all your own words, your rude words, whatever, and it will generate a level and that level will always be the same if you type in that word. So laser beards. Confirm. Select hero. And off we go. There's all sorts of lovely little touches in the game, um, paying homage to its inspiration, which is the original Rogue game. Uh, it's not exactly a roguelike, but it pretty much is a love letter to roguelikes in my view. Um, and, and it's just a fantastic game. Right, so I've just got an ornate key which opens the ornate door. If I press the map just now you can see it brings up a kind of rogue style map. Um, there's only one exit because this is where you start. Um, at the start I would recommend smashing everything you see because you need as much XP as possible to unlock your first skills. Um, so it's worthwhile just smashing everything. Why wouldn't you smash everything? Smashing things is fun. Right, unlock the door. I'm hearing something. Yeah, hearing something. Right, let's see. Okay, first gap. Now this gap is easy. Some of the gaps that you get are very much not. Ow, I should have used my shield. What I should ex Ah, I had a rat attached to me. Um, should explain. Uh, melee is fairly simple. It's just the square button and it's one, two, three. You just get combos like that. Um, left trigger holds up your shield. And the mage is a very cool colourful shield. Um, with the other characters you can throw your shield car Captain America style. With the mage it's a ranged attack with the R2 button. Right, I'm going to take my time coming in here. Now, I'm just going to demonstrate. Left one, eh, L1 and R1 do a special attack. There we go. It does a lot of damage. Yay, first letter. A green L, no less. Fantastic. I'll do for the logo. Right. Okay, so you'll notice that my ranged attack ran out after three shots. If you look at the top right corner, you'll see a little purple pink bar. That is the number of ranged shots I've got. With most other characters, it's just one slot. You can throw your shield once and then you have to wait for it to recharge. I can fire three times. It's one of the advantages I have because I'm weak as hell in terms of anything else. Now these things explode. Very satisfying. Okay, not far to go. Okay, I've got a simple key. There's a simple door. Where's the simple door? Uh, yeah, simple door. So you get simple simple keys and ornate keys. Tend not to be able to unlock both doors at the same time. So, forced to go this way at the moment. Bear in mind, these are procedurally generated, randomly generated um, levels. 
based on the seat. Ah, zombies. Right, you need a fire weapon for zombies and sword, uh, sword torch should do it. There we go. And some loot. Excellent. Might need that later. Yeah, you open chests by hitting them. Train and leave them there. And I've got a level up. So circle button brings up the the big menu for inventory and things like that. L1 to go to skills. And you can see as a mage, I started with all three of this kind of mage line sorted out. Um, I could go to arcane knowledge. Arcane knowledge is handy, but I'm not going to choose it because I want to demonstrate uh, a key element of the game, which is rather fun. Right now, what I'm going to do is unlock craftsman, which allows me to enchant any weaponry that I come across if I have enchanted ASCII letters. <laughs> You will have noticed by now the entire game pays homage to the Ascii roguelike in his very makeup. Everything it does, everything it, it looks, everything. The way you build weapons all pay homage to roguelikes. Right, here we go. Right, so the red door is the next one I want to go to. I've got the key for it now, it was in this room. you okay now I can't actually use those colorful letters to build anything I can only use them to enchant so I can't actually build a weapon just yet now I've played oh hello right so here we have the first codex which gives me the recipe to build a battle saber I need to collect the letters G J and Y and you can see in the picture there that the, the sword is made up of those letters um, in order to build it. And those are just plain white letters. If I find, I think it's the Y in this one that is colourful, then I'll be able to enchant it with poison or whatever, depending on the colour. Oh no! I've triggered off something or other. Okay, I've got some armour, I'll take that. Sweet. Gone, fell beast. Okay, you've got a simple key. Oh, I hate these arch turrets. They're okay when there's just one of them. I'm sure there is a proper name for them. I'm sure they're not arch turrets, but that's what I'm going to call them. something. I think it's a rat. Okay, Enchanted P. Lovely. Everyone likes an Enchanted P. Yes, I did say that. Right, oh, Mage is out special charges. I was just trying to... Okay, so special charges is something I should explain. Um, top right, next to my portrait, my wizardy beardy guy, you'll see a single blue bar. That is the special charge. Special charges are L1 plus R1 moves. Like that. Use it up, I have to wait for it to recharge. Okay, so I've got some letters, none of them the right ones for what I want. I would love to get a weapon right now. But I fear I may have to wait. Okay. Oh, a health tree. These are very good. Um, again, I've forgotten the real name for them, but you hit them. Can you see there's like a three golden apples in the middle. Um, hit one and it fills up your health bar. Or a partial hit. It's best to leave them until you need them. Don't take too many just in case you need to come back. Um, you'll also notice right now I've got a flashing red bar. 
kind of down below my health bar and the special charges. That's the hunger clock. If I press circle, basically I need to eat. Even though I've got full health, I need to eat to keep that hunger bar up. So I'm going to take... Pizza only gives me so much. Fish gives me a bit more. I'm going to eat the fish at the moment. There we go. I'm kind of not hungry anymore. I'm not full either. Right, where am I going? Gotta jump. You've got to be careful coming down uh, a screen like this because quite often the jump is slightly out of view. You can move the screen slightly with the right stick. You can shift around so it's wise at times just to make sure you can see everything by staying still. See there? Four rats. They can give you trouble actually, the rats. I'm going to jump across. You can double jump. I'm going to do that and hopefully not die. Uh, there we go, I hate that. Ha <laughs> ha! Eat that rats. Okay, so we've been there before. We've got an open door and corridor down there that I've not been through. Or I can go this way. Inevitably, whichever way I go is the one I probably shouldn't have gone first. So I'm just going to go. I'm hearing something. Ah, rat in jar. Always the rats in the jars. And again. I should maybe learn my lesson. Something is growling. What is it? It's that! Okay, I'm going to do some evasion. So you hold hold the shield up with L2 and then press the X button. And there's a question mark. Did you notice the question mark above his head? I meant he was vulnerable. You can evade, evade in different ways depending on which way you push the analog stick. Oh, there's another apple tree. Um, and it's a very handy trick to have. Because you Oh man, I've got a nice guy. Right. He is a nice beastie. I'm not sure why he didn't notice me there, but I'll take it. Pick up the arrows. <coughs> Enchanted J over there. I need a J, but I need a white J at the moment. Pizza! Oh, pizza. Right. What I might do, I'm going to bring out my torch here. Can you see down at the bottom of the screen it's counting down? It's at like six, five, four, three, two, one. No longer fiery. Hit something fiery with it, reset the clock up to 20. Put it away and the clock pauses. So it will stay fiery until you need a fire thing. It's very handy for zombies. Okay. What have we got? Ah! I knew it! There's the exit. Now if I was in trouble, maybe on a later level, I would probably go through the exit. I'll just go up to it so you can see the doors open. That will take you to floor two, but I want to explore this level fully, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to go down here because there might be some goodies that I missed. Generally doesn't take too long, especially if you've already cleared the area. Although, in later levels it can be problematic. Ah, TNT. I'll demonstrate what happens to TNT barrels when you shoot them. Although I'm sure you can guess. Yes! Right. I've got a J. Proper J. But I still don't have enough. It would tell you up at the top of the screen. Can you see the text at the top of the screen on the left corner? Um, it will tell you when you can make a weapon or when you can enchant one. I think there is another weapon I need. <gasps> can I make a sword? Okay, when I flick this second lever, out comes a target. Hit the target. Please tell me I can make a weapon. Craft alert! You can now craft a weapon. Yes! Right, and you craft a weapon by going to the recipe, the codex, and selecting it, and then going craft. Simple. And that's it. 
Uh, okay, so this is what it would look like um, if you could enchant something, then you would see on the bottom, if I click R1, you can switch between poison, arcane, power, fire, and freezing. And these would be glowing big time. The orange to me seems to be sticking out, and sometimes I get tricked into thinking that I can enchant with fire, but it glows much brighter than that. Um, so, yeah. And you can see at the tip of the, the saber, it has the Y there. The Y is the enchantment letter for this battle saber. But I haven't picked up any nice looking Ys yet. Okay, so that's that done. Now I can equip it into a quick slot. You just highlight it, move your analog stick to highlight the battle saber, and then press the button on the D-pad that you want to be the saber. So I'm going to push right on the D-pad. Every time I push right on the D-pad now, I will pick the saber. Up for the torch, right for the saber. Okay, got the loot and an enchanted F. What have we got in the chest? <gasps> Sweet. Okay, got a bow. I've got one letter for it, but not the rest. Um, these jiggly bridge things, if I stand on them for long enough, they'll disappear. I just have to walk off them. I think it should. Maybe it won't do it this time. Normally they disappear if you stand on them for too long. In my experience anyway, it can cause problems. Alright, here we go. Uh, one thing of note, you have to unlock specials for each weapon. So if I press the bumpers, nothing happens. I need Gladiator Strike to do it. If I want to do my special, I have to move to melee only, fists only. But I prefer the advantage of the saber, so let's go. Yeah, nice bit of evasion, and we're done. Just explode that. It's exploding things is fun! Okay, so... I hate this bit. Okay, so offer to the gods. You basically offer... However much uh, loot you fancy, and they will decide whether that amount offends them or not. Let's go. Yeah, it's offended them. And there it goes. They are really, really cheesed off at me for some reason. How dare I give them all the money I have? So I'm gonna smash some furniture in fury. Made you starving? Find food, it says. Well, luckily I have some. Uh, I'll eat some more fish. I'll eat some pizza. There. Uh, okay, so... Enchanted! That was an enchanted cauldron, I guess. Um, enchanted explosions or attacks transfigure the enemy and turn them into something else. So I've seen rats be turned into like uh, knights and things like that. So you've got to be careful around arcane magic. Right, that's this level done as far as I can see. One thing I forgot to mention is the very top bar above my health bar, that's armour. I've picked up two, sl uh, two pieces of armour so I've got two slots filled. These uh, slots can get reduced with use. Alright, so dungeon depth one. There we go. Completed it in 13 minutes. Normally it would take me a lot quicker than that. Generally it's about 6 or 7 minutes for these early levels, but I've been explaining things to you. This is all your fault. Continue. Okay, so we've got some food. Oh, I can brew a potion. I'll demonstrate that just now. Okay, so circle. Um, these blue things here, these are ingredients for potions. These empty bo bottles are what you need to brew them in. So I can brew three potions if I have enough ingredients. Um, it, I can't brew this, it's, I haven't got the ingredients, but these are full of blue. And it just says, you'll know, it's just below, it just says purple potion. The reason for that is that I don't know what this potion does. 
all of the eight potion slots are randomly assigned. Um, uh, at the start of every dungeon. So, uh, I have no idea what this does. Now, just for a laugh, I'm going to take it. Uh, I've accidentally assigned it to my saber slot. Okay. So, I'm going to push the... I'm going to push the down button. I'm now holding the potion. Push it down again, and I drink it. And I'm on fire! At least now I know that's a potion of Inferno. It's taking some health off me, though. That's not great. Right. Oh, I've got... I've not got much. I've got 192 of 200 XP, so breaking all of these things will help me get to my next level quicker. So I'm going to do it. Because I could do with that new level. Oh, we've got a poison. Poison. Die. Alright, confuse them. Oh, he's blocking. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, now I've got him. Okay, one skill point. Okay, so I'm going to do the kind of cheaty mage thing now. Because I don't like not knowing what my potions are. So as a mage, you can very quickly unlock arcane knowledge. If you read below it says, bestows the knowledge of master alchemist to instantly identify every potion. This ability also detects the concealment magic used to cloak secret rooms. Very, very handy skill. One that I recommend everybody try and get to no matter what class you start as. Um, but as a mage, I could theoretically have done it straight away. Um, so, unlock. Now, brew potion. I know that that red one in this game will be potion of vitality. Blindness, poison, invisibility, protection, vampire's curse, inferno, rage. I know what every color means now. But um, if you started as another character, you would have to test them out in some way. You can test them out by taking them yourself or you can throw them at the enemy. So there, that's that demo. Right. So what I'm going to do now is pause it um, and come back when I'm further down the dungeons. I have to say right now, I'm not massively good at the game yet. I think of the furthest I've got with a very generous initial few levels is level 9. Um, so I'll get a bit further down and then start recording again. Okay, so I'm back. Now we're on the third floor. I've just gone through and picked up a few more things. Still haven't got enough. Uh, oh, I can craft a new weapon. I'm just about to say I didn't have enough for a new weapon, but I can craft a new one, which is... Be the bow, be the bow. It is the bow. I suspect I can't use it yet. I enchant it. No. Uh, uh, okay, so I can't. Uh, one more skill point, and I can use the bow, but that's handy. I like my ranged attacks. Pizza! Okay, so. We're still not very far down the dungeon. There's 26 floors. We're only on floor 3. Um, but. Oh, I can now enchant a weapon. Excellent. Did I just pick up... Must be this one. It is this one. I can make it a power battle saber so it's all sparky and electric. Now, you can switch modes. Once you've enchanted a weapon, I can switch it to normal. Oops. By just pressing that that D-pad button again, so right in the D-pad, we'll cycle through all the enchantments. If I had poison and fire there, I could cycle through all of those as well. Right now, I've just got normal and power, which is fine. Ah, problem. Zombies need fire, so I've got my torch ready. Always have a torch ready to go. Never let it run down. Okay, I've got arrows for my bow. Where are we going? Door to the left. Or straight ahead, straight ahead. Ah! I hate those archers. 
No, why did I do that? Okay, I'm frozen. Okay, yeah. There we go. And we got a bad guy. Oh, we got a few bad guys. Right, let's see if I can poison them. I can poison them. There we go. Oh, they froze me. Hang on. I'm gonna see if I can evade. I have to evade one. Frozen again. You'll notice next to my health bar there's an ank symbol with a one next to it. That means I've actually got one life. So I can die once and go again right now. Which is handy. It allows me to take a few more risks than I would otherwise do. Um, the gods were benevolent the second time I went to them. I don't know if you remember. I made an offering to the gods and they were insulted the first time. If they like it, they give you an extra life. Okay, I'm hungry and not very healthy. So I'm going to eat a fish. And a pizza. There we go. Okay, got a jump to make. Need these jumps. Ah! Got an archer hitting me as well. That's not good. Damn you, Stormcloud. Thank you. Okay, so... Fire door. Need a fiery thing. Thankfully I've got a torch. Oh crikey, it's a maze. These mazes can be brutal. If you pardon the pun. Right, okay. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes there's a whole bunch of them waiting for you and you've got nowhere to run. Okay, so that's one corner exposed. If you look at the ASCII map, you can see the general layout. Generally see if there's any bad guys there as well, so looks like I'm alright. Gonna try and figure out how to get to the top right. Oh. Is that it? Sometimes these mazes have a huge amount of goodies in it. And I've come across it sometimes where there's like loads of baddies in them as well. Um, you've got to be careful and make sure that you're seeing as far into the map as you can. Darn it. Okay, let's see if I can take them out without seeing me. No. No. There, that's good. Ah, the gods. My friends, the gods. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna offer you everything I've got. Please like me. You bastards! Right, okay. At least I've got one life. Ow! Okay, so we have a trap. There's a nice thing in there which I do need. We've got some loot here. This is probably going to trigger something else. Yeah, here we go. No, I need the power sword. This is not good. Yep, I'm a bit confused. You can see their health above their heads there, 42. Ow, I'm poisoned. 12, 2. Come on, that more damage than I wanted to take there, to be honest. I got an ornate key out of it, so yay. I think if I picked that one and left the other one alone, I might not have triggered anything off. But don't quote me on that. Okay, not healthy. Can't build anything new. Can I make a potion? Yes, I can make a potion of vitality. And blindness. I don't want to make myself blind, but if I throw that at the enemy, they can't see me, which can give me um, kind of assassin style kills if I'm crafty about it. Uh, 
Right. In fact, right. Let's go right. Uh oh. Lots of zombies. Okay, and there's a uh, health apple tree here. I'm gonna fill up my torch, then switch it off. Okay, you can notice there there's poison vents there. They are a nightmare sometimes. Okay, let's destroy this. See what's in it. Not far off level enough again. Okay, so. Oh, there's a door back there. See, I always end up exploring too far and missing bits further back. I'm gonna go there now before I do anything else. Uh, horrible jump. Well, it's not so horrible, this one. And. Go we. What we got? Ah! Lots of these little fellas. Punch him to death. Pushing ingredients. Enchanted Z. Don't know why I did that. Pizza. Loot. F! Oh, and my helm shattered. So I think one of those little fellas did enough damage to destroy my helm. Right, okay, back to where I was going to go. Okay, so where are we? Right. Mm, I just don't know which way is going to be the way out. I want to go there last. Ah, oh, I need poison to get through that door. I don't have any. Right. Poison, you have to hit them with the weapon. That's the same colour as the door, basically. Uh, craft a new weapon. Goblin Pike. I like the Goblin Pike. And it's an enchanted V I'm looking for. I wonder if I already have a green V. No, nothing. Yet. I can enchant a weapon. Right. Power battle saber. Is it? Is it the pike? No. Ah. Nope. What can I enchant? Oh, I can make the broadsword daft of me. Which probably means I can enchant this once it's made. Yes, I can, and now I've got a poison weapon. And there's the exit, but I'm going to go through the generally some goodies that you should probably take advantage of. Oh, crikey! No! Oh, 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 no! Well, that was uncalled for. Oh. Right, I like that one. Get off! Okay, so you can see the floor is green here. This means I'm going to get poisoned as soon as I hit the floor. What I tend to do is save up. Have I got any? Let's see if I can make a potion of protection. I can't make one. And I haven't got any. So I'm just going to have to man up. Uh. Oh, crikey! They're evil. Damn the storm cloud. But also thank you. Ah, 
apple tree. I'll take that. Okay, so full health, half hunger bar. I might fill up the hunger bar a bit. There. And poison. Don't drop down the hole. That would be awful. And we head back to the exit. Which is there. Never remember. Get out of here. And that's the end of that chapter. Okay. I'll take you some of the way through Dungeon uh, Depth 4. And then I'm going to stop. I got everything there is to get in there so I can leave it happy. Them. I can enchant a weapon now. I wonder what it is. It's not that one. It's that one. Arcane. It's just so colourful this game. It's unbelievable. It is like it's like the gaming equivalent of a Calippo, if you know what a Calippo is. And Calippos are like ice lolly nectar of the gods, as far as I'm concerned. This is just superb neon joy. I adore the game. everywhere. Ah, I can't wait. I don't like those millipedes. Right. Enchanted P! Right, I can... Just checking that I've got everything. Ah! No, that's... It's okay, I can enchant that, that's fine. I can make a poison goblin pike. Superb. Can I make one of these? No. No. Now, I'd like to make a potion of protection, please. Doesn't look like I can. This is the only thing I can do. Potion of blindness can be handy. Okay, so I'm going to equip all of these weapons. I could do with a fire one to replace my torch, but I'll live with it at the moment. Oh, crikey. Right. These can easily do for me. I have to be very careful with these. You can see the target down in the middle of the screen there. I've just got to fire. It would be either my ranged attack or a shield would set that off. Now, this bridge here, which has just been raised, has no walls. There's no hash uh, symbols at the sides, which means you can go off the edge. Also, these blocks run steady and will disappear if you step on them for a while. So, I've got to be careful. They're jiggling. Oh, oh, oh I hate it. Ah, ah. Nearly went off the edge there. And you can see there's a hole in the bridge there. That's where one of the bricks fell down. It gets very stressful. It's probably the most stressful thing in the game for me, if you don't. Right. Still done the his legs. There we go. And again. He's a bit dumb in this guy. There we go. The mage is probably the best guy to deal with those those turrets. He's got three ranged attacks, um, whereas the other guys with just the one shield, which goes away and does its shopping, and then comes back. Um, they can be uh, the turret guys can be a bit of a problem for them. Right, here we go. Oh, oh, oh this level is filled with these goodies. Oh. Oh, look, it's the gods. This 
probably a mistake. Uh, I'm not going to hit that with my... Exuberant. Okay. Take my money. Ah, <sighs> they are so, so fickle, the gods. Right. There, yeah, that's better. Oh, it's chest. And a key. And it was an ornate key. That's a simple door. I need this ornate door. There it is. up another letter. Level up. Hmm. I would quite like to be able to wield an axe. I haven't found one yet, but let's just pick it. You need axes to break through certain doors, so... Oh, I nearly jumped that. That would have been a nightmare. I'm out of flame as well. Nuts. Okay, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Thank you. It's not too bad, that one. I probably should be using the arcade. Oh, it's better. Some of the bridges are much narrower than that, and it can be an absolute mare. Thank you. Brew potion. Protection. I think the light blue is protection from memory. Yes, it is. I always use protection uh, ones to protect me from poison floors and the like. So it's always good to have a stack of them. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get to the chest. Yay, armor. That's good. Needed that. Okay, what we got? Okay, we still need... I think that's the simple key we need up there. We haven't got that yet. Enchant the E. Oh crikey, right. I think there's an art turret. Ouch, cheese. Not a turret. Just an art turret. Oh, right, okay. There's so much more to this than you've, you than you've seen so far. It's just the nature of the Lazy Beard's level at this stage that you're not seeing as much as you might in another run through. Oh, I hate this this lineup particularly. I can't stand the kind of set up in teeth like this, and I can't get to them. Right, you can kind of make them hit one another, or at least there, yeah, see, right. Okay, I need health. The big cooked meat will do the job. I almost filled my hunger clock as well, as it should. It's a big hunk of meat. There, I've got everything. I just need fire, actually. I need to find something to set my torch on fire with. Okay, so... Uh, we are heading to uh, that red door up there. 
so let's head that way. Gotta breathe. Have I gotta breathe the bridge again? Ah, nuts. Okay. Ah, missing bits. <laughs> I hate these. Simple door unlocked. Got go. Ow! Oh, I might have to avoid these. Oh no! Ah! Oh, and I need flame. I need flame to deal with these. Okay. Come to me, my friends. Something for you. Still got a fair way to my next unlock. Not sure why I did that. No, why I did that. <laughs> fiery, fiery pits of doom. Okay, I have to take the potion of protection so that I don't burn. It'll also protect me from damage from hits from bad guys, so best thing to do is to charge through, don't burn, don't fall to your death. And while it's still going, ah, it's got to the end. I was going to say, while it's still going, beat the living crap out of the bad guys. But, you know, it's all been seen to. And there we have it. Floor 4 done. 100%, everything picked up. Sweet, it's a good run so far. Um, and that's where I'm going to leave it, because otherwise we'd be here all day. Um, so thank you for watching my nonsense. Catch us on uh, the Laserbeard podcast, which you can find at laserbeards.wordpress.com. Um, you'll find all the info there to slot it into your podcast reader if you want to. Um, and I hope you enjoyed that little playthrough. Cheers. <laughs>